Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kalenjins are delivering a bad news to William Samuel Ruto. That when you are going ahead to get regarded as Shagwa, as the, your deputy, you never came out consulting us. The only thing you do, of course, you brought Rigadi Gashagwa. You explained that that was your choice. And so if Rigadi Gashagwa is being crucified as someone who is corrupt, someone who is having ego, and someone who is dividing Kenyans, then Kalenjins are telling William Ruto, if you are tired with your deputy, you also resign and go home. That is the message that is coming very clear from Kalenjin. And they are seeing the relationship in between Kale and Kikuyu vizuri sana. And that is why Kikuyu voted for William Samoy Ruto. So kicking out Rigadi Geshagwa in a way of replacing him is just a type of political conmanship. So Kalenjins are saying this. But before we watch, do me a favor as we always do. Just like a video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder. As you watch the video, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Now let us listen to this video. If you can listen to that video very carefully, this is something that I've said here many times. If it was about public participation to be considered, then I'm telling you even the impeachment motion of Rigari Gashagwa inge kuwa. But because these so-called learned members of parliament, whom bigger percentage of them, I usually say they are not. They are not. In fact, bigger percentage of these members of parliament in the National Assembly and Senate, they are not. Because even reasoning capacity of these members of parliament is not sound mind. You cannot tell me that you kicked off the public participation, you have the details and records, but despite of the public participation saying that Rigal Shagwa should not go because it is not a priority, they went ahead, these members of parliament, they filled their own data in these forms. The now 85% of Kenyans are supporting the impeachment of Rigal Gashagwa. I saw some even members of parliament confusing this figure. Some say 65%. You know? But again, ground in Mekata. This impeachment of Rigal Gashagwa, si atakuamba wana support to Rigal Gashagwa. It's just that they are trying to ask William Ruto. This is not the priority. This is not a priority. The priority is about our hospitals. Our priority is about our schools, capitation. Our priority is about roads. Because when we transport our goods from farms, you know, we need good roads. A priority is to fight corruption, a dirty deal, you know. Those are the issues that these members of parliament sh should uh, discuss. But because they are not listening to the ground, you can even... Go to yourself. Try to assess the mood of the, uh, the, the individuals. Don't go even in Mount Kenya region because what I claim, I'm at Kenya, si penya regarding a shagwa and toka. What do you expect? And I rift valley, and at a nyanza, kuna nyanza some regions, some part, utambiwa, that is not a priority. Some will say, none of our business, wakatu walipatana, sisi ya tujui. Yes, of course, some will say, we support the impeachment. But clearly, overall, if you can check that overall, you can see the ground 
imekata hii impeachment of Rigathi Gachagua but because of some punitive leaders setting themselves into a certain corner directed with certain mission hmm? to kick out Rigathi Gachagua it is just simply showing a political conmanship because they're feeling like their interests are not served Rigathi Gachagua being the deputy president and so removing Rigathi Gachagua they will start bringing money to our schools capitation removing Rigathi Gachagua we are now going to have good roads removing Rigathi Gachagua will never have corruption again in this country that is it that is it but because we as common mwananchi you know we understand the criteria these people are using hmm, to exploit us use our resources you just may imagine how much has been used in this impeachment of Rigathi Gachagua a lot of money a lot of money look at the public participation it is a lot of money so you ask yourself sometimes is this the priority and even if Rigathi Gachagua did something wrong was there no avenues that can correct of course can summon Rigathi Gachagua they having the UDA party leadership Rigathi Gachagua was not summoned number 2 the president angeongea na eh president and deputy angemuona but again hizo zote hizo kufanyika so it's showing a kind of scenario where some individuals are just having their tactics and tricks to kick Rigathi Gachagua for their own benefit they're feeling like if they put another person they are going to eat well they're going to squander the public resources well you know that is it but again the ground is speaking look at nyanza look at uh, rift valley look at mount kenya look at nairobi look at coastal i listened to them several videos i've received when i'm saying this is not just that i've received one video coming from rift valley i'm telling you after watching what is coming from bomet whatever is coming from wasingishu whatever is happening in elgeyo marakwet i analyzed elgeyo marakwet the other day i uh, i saw you what happened in mount kenya region the same to some part of nyaza nairobi coastal ukambani across the republic of kenya and even i told you if it is a region that is against this impeachment number one is mount kenya number two is ukambani region leading number two rejecting this impeachment so I think for me if this public participation was to be used the Gadi Gachagua's impeachment could have not reached this extent that we are today it is just a matter of tricks and plans that these people had long time ago so removing Gachagua has nothing to be, uh, to do with the so called gross violation nothing like that it is just someone sat one day somewhere and this was a plan crafted with as a result to favor their interest you know so these members of parliament they are just doing things were directed with william ruto and are you sure that the senate is also going to serve the justice i don't think so because what happened in national assembly is likely to repeat itself in the so called senate assembly it is likely to repeat itself and that is something that i'm sure of i'm sure of totally and so for regarding ashago to go to court and even court yesterday justice lawrence muganda directed the case of regarding ashago this impeachment to the chief justice in other words in supreme court so chief justice mata kome is going to select a three bench judges who are going to investigate the impeachment of rigathi gachagua but again at the same time this impeachment is on the senate can something come out positively from the judiciary because i've seen some people saying rigathi gachagua alisha kanyaga a vidole parliament na tena ka kanyaga what to judiciary and that is why there was a case in between rigathi gachagua and justice esther maina where rigathi gachagua said that he was going to deal with esther maina 
sarcophoniously. That was the statement. No. So I think for me, Kenyans, let us just wait how the things are going to be because already the ground has rejected it and now we are going to see how the Senate is going to redeem themselves. Are they going to just be part and parcel of bravado or they are going to make decisions that entails the truth, fair and integrity. That is it. An impeachment of the Gadiga Shago might be a lesson to these members of parliament that you should not just gang up to someone without even evidence and clear investigations. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.